Alright, this is my last attempt on getting this video up on YouTube. I hope it works. <laughs> Alright, so, grow organics, grow organics, grow organics, grow organics. Alright, so, first off, this product is awesome. I'm just going to say that from the jump. Um, Groganics is a DHT blocker system, and DHT is a hormone found in both the female and male bodies. Um, unfortunately for most women, it affects us more. Um, it stunts our growing stage in our hair. I believe there are three growing stages to the hair process, um, and DHT slows that down, so it's not a lot of hair growth. Um, I brought this bought this product because I want my hair to grow obviously makes sense um it's a deep freeze follicle cleanser and scalp absorbent shampoo does what it says legit um deep freeze scalp simulant conditioner does what it says and what's in it what it also does that is also legitimate it helps prevent flakes cools and soothes the scalp softens and conditions increases blood flow and freezes dht now in small print underneath that if you ladies or guys buy it um, it says for advanced hair loss and severely thinning hair only. Now, I have neither of those, but needless to say, it won't harm you if you do use it. It obviously promotes your hair if, um, you have thin hair or that's just point blank. That's the main use of it, but I'm using it to help promote my hair and, you know, freeze the DHT so my growing period can be extended. Um, this is what the bottles look like. I ordered mine off of Amazon. I'm an Amazon junkie. I will admit that now. <laughs> I love, love, love to shop on Amazon. Um, they have a line of products that grow, goes with this. Um, yeah, that's what the picture is at the beginning of this video. Um, it's only, I believe, about $25 for it together, or $20 somewhere around there. If it's over 25 then don't buy it. It's not worth it. Um, I mean, it is, but for that, and you're getting these um, point blank, if it's over $25, don't do it um, because you can find it somewhere else for cheaper. I got it off of Amazon for like 23 I think. Um, yes, I know they're small bottles, but the formula is very thick, and I'm going to show you guys the best I can. Um, and when I say you do not need a lot of this stuff, you do not need a lot. So if you use more than maybe two quarters, mm, two dollar sizes, like the dollar coin sizes, you're using way too much. So I'm going to attempt to show you guys, sorry, this is my first time making a video. So it's going to be a uh, trial and error here with the first one. So that's how thick it is. Like, do you not see that? All right. Oh, well, okay. So that's how thick it is. It's super duper 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 duper, duper thick. And it coats the hair. Like it really does a good job of that. Um, it does what it says. I can't stress that enough. It does what it says. Um, the feeling that it gives you when you use the two products is like if you're chewing winter fresh gum. And you know that fresh feeling you get in your mouth? That, that cool sensation is like when you breathe in it's cold or you drink something cold and you get that cold feeling? that's the feeling you get with this but when you're in the shower it's warm so it's like it just it feels incredible I cannot stress that enough I love it I love the feeling it makes me kind of feel like I'm in a spa treatment get my scalp massaged um this is the conditioner and this is pretty thick itself. Um, you might, as usual, I hate that, but with conditioner, you always need enough to coat the hair completely. Um, with this, just mainly focus on your scalp, but you can run it through your hair. It's pretty thick, too. It's not watery. So, that's about the consistency of it. Um... It really, it smells amazing. Um, I used this about two days ago, and my hair still smells like the minty smell that it gives off. It's awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. But, this is a topical solution, okay, meaning it goes on top of your head. Um, yes, you can use this when you have protective styles, and just be gentle. Um, 
not to, you know, if you're one of those people who are picky and don't want to make your hair look frizzy, I don't really care. Everybody knows it's fake hair, so what? Uh, whoopie do. Um, I just massage it into my scalp just like this. And I'll go, you know, I'll push it back like that, and then I'll take it and I'll squeeze it through the ends and all of that good stuff. But the main focus is your hair, your natural hair, the roots, the the granddaddy of it all, the where it comes from, okay? Um, one note to that is your hair is already dead when it comes out the follicle. So when they say, oh, you have dead ends, that's just your hair's that's just old hair that's all that is the stuff that's right here this is new hair this is new old hair if that makes sense but the stuff down at the ends is super old hair I don't know if you can see but you can kind of see my natural hair because I had dye in it but obviously washing it made it come out um so yes um it's okay to wash it if you have braids in um I actually recommend it because if you wash it where you have braids in, you can kind of see the growth. You can, you know, track it if you want to. If you're the type of those type of people that like to track their hair growth, um, you can do that. Um, lost my train of thought because I've done this video so many times. Um, oh, diet. Now I don't mean to say you have to eat fruits and vegetables and this amount of calories this day and this amount of calories that day and you can't have this much no listen we're all human we have our cravings we eat what we want but I am going to tell you if you're going to watch this video when I say when you buy this product and if you're trying to grow your hair out you need to have a semi healthy diet it needs to consist of some type of nutrition okay I'm not going to stress that enough if you don't feel like you're going to eat a healthy diet don't watch this video saying that right off the bat. You need to have a healthy diet no matter what you do, okay? Hair growth comes from the inside of your body. So think of it this way. If you're putting constantly junk food and just not healthy stuff into your body, of course your body's going to produce unhealthy things on the outside. You're going to have skin breaking out and not gr hair growth, just, you know, just not positive things. That's all. Just not positive. Um... On the other hand, there are people who can still eat a semi-unhealthy diet and have beautiful results. Everybody's not gifted like that. So you got to put into consideration what you know about your body and how, you know, what you put into it affects it. I know once I start eating a healthy diet and I'm drinking a ton of water, which I love water because it really is the basis to help stuff grow, um, my hair sprouts like no other. I mean, my hair grows. When I say it grows, I whew, I love it, and I have a slight obsession with hair. Okay, um, yeah. I when it comes to hair, I'm my little mini hair guru. My friends would call me. I look up anything and everything that has to deal with my hair because I treasure and value my hair a lot. It means a lot to me, which is crazy, but I'm a girl, so what? Leave me alone. <laughs> um, yes, uh, this product is really good. Um, on the bottle, it says for adults only do not use this on a child okay don't don't do it it's not worth it obviously if it's saying don't use it on a child then it's not meant for their tender scalps in their little heads okay um i bought this off amazon yeah i think i said that already <laughs> um but yes water 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 i can't stress this enough drink a lot of water if you're going to be trying to do anything with your hair or skin I used to not drink a lot of water and I always used to get breakouts and I'm like why is my skin like this blah 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 I work out you know I just was like what so I started changing on my diet and I'm like my skin oh my god it, it feels good it looks good it's because water you putting all those toxins and juices in your skin listen if it doesn't say all natural and if you look on the back and ingredients don't list all natural ingredients then it's not all natural and when I say it's good to put in good stuff into your body it will produce good stuff clear skin healthy hair shiny hair you know healthy body healthy you like who doesn't want to be healthy it's just a sacrifice to do, you know, if you want results. Anyways, um, this video is getting too long. 
yeah, I really recommend this for anybody who wants to use a topical solution. Um, I also use biotin and grow uh, biotin and uh, hair infinity with this. Um, I'll do a review on those two after this video because I really like those two products. Um, so yeah, just you know, use if you really are trying to help your help help your hair grow, use this product. I recommend it to you. Um, I'm African American myself, and if you ladies out there are asking, is it okay to wash on a daily basis? It all depends on your hair type. We all have different hair types. Um, I've washed my hair one, like I, for instance, I was an ex swimmer and I had to wash my hair every day. My hair did pretty good if I put the right products in it. So if you're going to use this, um, you just, it's all based on what you know about your hair if you know you can do every week or every three days or whatever then do you you know it all is based off of what you know is right for your body so um yeah that was my review on Grow organics if i missed anything please let me know um i can go on a rant sometimes so i hope i didn't do too bad um so yeah just any comments anything um i'll try and get back to you guys as soon as i can so yeah